Hey guys, I've decided that anything that happens outside is yard work. So today I'm gonna to change the oil in my truck. It is a 2008 Chevy Trailblazer with a 5.3 liter V8 engine. It takes five W30 oil. I put in full synthetic high mileage oil from whatever brand happens to be on sale. I've got a creeper for going under the truck, some ramps to lift up the front. You don't really need those two, but it makes it a lot easier. I have the oil, the oil filter, and I have a drain pan, a funnel, some sockets, and some paper towels. And of course, some rubber gloves, which are so important. So this is just a plastic shield. It has holes in it, so you don't really have to take it off to change the oil, but I like to because it just makes it a little easier. Plus a lot of oil would drip on it and slowly drip onto the driveway over time. So easier to just remove it. Now I'm going to unscrew the oil drain plug. It's a 15 millimeter on my truck, but your truck might be different. So just let the oil drain for a few minutes and I'll take the oil filter out and we'll be halfway done. Okay, now I'm going to remove the oil filter, which is kind of a pain because it's way up there and it always makes a huge mess which is why I put a plastic bag over my hand to try to catch the mess and not get used motor oil all over my arm. But I probably will anyway. Also, oil filters are supposed to be hand tight. You're not supposed to use a wrench to install them, and so you're not supposed to need a wrench to uninstall them. And usually that's how it is, so we'll see. It's unscrewing very slowly, but it is moving. So yeah, it's a little messy. Most of these trucks have inline six engines, not the V8. And I wonder if the oil filter is a little more easily accessible in those engines. Since the truck wasn't really made for this engine, I wonder if that's why it's a little bit hard to get at and gets oil all over whatever this piece is. Okay, I'm going to put the drain plug back in and then I'm going to wipe down all the fresh oil that's all over the place. So the new oil filter, you just screw it in hand tight, as tight as you can, but with no tools, no wrenches or anything. 
and it has this little rubber seal around it and you need to make sure that the old seal isn't still up there. Make sure it came off with the old filter because two seals means no seal. And yep, it's clear. So. Okay, now I'm gonna put the plastic shield back on. All right, wash my hands, I'm back. Now I just need to put the oil in the truck. Oil comes in two quantities, five quarts and one quart. And this truck takes six quarts, so I had to buy a five and a one. Alright, just gonna let these sit for a few minutes and get every last drop out of there. Alright, good enough. All right, you always got to check to make sure that oil's not pouring out just in case you messed up that oil filter or forgot to put the plug in or whatever. But everything looks good here. All right, I should be good for another six months. This truck has about 150,000 miles on it and hopefully I can get at least a couple more years out of it until new car prices come back down to normal.